So for this exercise, we're going to learn how to activate our deep core muscles. When we're talking about our deep core muscles, we're start talking about our stabilizer muscles and we train them a little bit differently. It's really important to visualize and concentrate and get that motor pathway strengthened. We can't actually strengthen a muscle we can't find. And remember, quality over quantity. So when doing these exercises, make sure you're taking the time and feeling the right muscles contracting. So looking at this diagram, we're going to work with what's called piston breathing. Our diaphragm is a true core muscle. Every time we breathe in and breathe out, our diaphragm automatically contracts and relaxes. So our diaphragm is the ceiling, our pelvic floor, and transverse abdominis, that stabilizer muscle in the front of the abdominal wall, is the foundation. So what we're going to do, when you take a breath in, okay, air fills your lungs, we're going to use this increased interabdominal pressure to relax our core. So relax the pelvic floor muscles. When we breathe out, air leaves our lungs. We have a decreased interabdominal pressure. We're going to take this time to activate our core muscles. When I talk about activating our core muscles on the breath out, what I mean is you're going to squeeze and lift the muscles of your pelvic floor. So you're going to use the muscles that you would use to stop the flow of urine or the muscles you would use to stop gas. Okay, so you're gently squeezing around your uh, lower pelvic floor, your lower muscles, and you're gently visualizing this lower muscles lifting. So to do this properly, what you're going to do is you're going to lay in this position and you're going to try and feel your deep muscles. So you're going to put your hands just on the inside of your hip bones. Okay, so there's Michelle's inner hip bones and she's going to fall off in and she's going to feel, if she's doing this exercise correctly, she's going to feel a light tension underneath her fingers. So, Michelle, what I'm going to have you do is you're going to breathe in for three seconds and then you're going to focus on breathing out for three seconds, okay? So, take a big breath in to relax the muscles. Good, that's three seconds, good breath. And then as you breathe out, I want you to squeeze around your pelvic floor and lift in. Excellent. And then breathe in, relax all that tension. And as you breathe out, you should feel that deep tension right underneath your fingers. Perfect. So Michelle's doing awesome. She, she's going to keep going there. What is very important, what Michelle's not doing, is Michelle is not using her superficial glute muscles, so the big muscles in the back, okay? She's not using her groin muscles, and she's not using her superficial abdominal muscles. She's getting all that strength from the bottom of her core. Just like that. It's very important to learn how to both relax these muscles as well as contract, and using our breath is the best way to do it. So remember, three seconds in, and then three seconds out, she's squeezing and lifting on her pelvic floor and getting that contraction over lower abdominal wall. Mm -hmm.